and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a step-by-step -step process on how to check your blood pressure at home. You know, checking your blood pressure at home is an important part of managing high blood pressure and regularly checking blood pressure at home helps your healthcare provider or your doctor to know if the treatment that they have provided is working. The first thing that you need to know before you can check your blood pressure at home is to make sure that you have a blood pressure monitor and this is how the blood pressure monitor looks like. You would need this which is the monitor and then an arm cuff. These monitors sometimes come with a standard arm cuff and the standard cuff fits most arm sizes. Sometimes too, they come with different sized arm cuffs. So when you're purchasing your blood pressure monitor, make sure you purchase one with a cuff that fits your arm perfectly. Now let's sit back and watch this video from Blood Pressure UK. This video provides a simple step-by-step -step process on how to measure your blood pressure at home. And there is a lot to learn from it. So sit back and keep watching. High blood pressure is often called the silent killer. That's because it rarely has any symptoms, yet it causes two thirds of strokes and nearly half of all heart attacks. Shockingly, as many as six million people in the UK have it of all ages, and many of them don't even know they have it until they're diagnosed by perhaps having a screening or when they have a heart attack or a stroke. Your blood pressure isn't something you can see or feel, but it's there in your arteries as it flows around your body, pumped rhythmically by your heart. Your blood pressure can be healthy or it can be too low, but more often it can be too high, which puts your heart at risk. If your blood pressure is in the healthy range, this protects your heart and your blood vessels. If it's raised, your blood pushes with too much force against your artery walls and they become damaged. This leads to a range of problems, including heart failure, kidney disease, vascular dementia, poor circulation. Blood clots can also form in the damaged arteries, causing heart attacks and strokes. But the good news is that high blood pressure is usually preventable, which is why knowing your numbers is the most important first step you can take for your health. So what causes high blood pressure? Well, for some people, it may be the result of a condition such as kidney disease. However, for most people, about nine out of 10, it doesn't have one particular cause. It may be a combination of factors, such as your ethnicity, your family history, your genes, and particularly if you're black or South Asian descent. But the most important thing for most people is lifestyle. What you do and what you eat every day of your life adds up to what your blood pressure will be. Are you eating well? Are you eating lots of processed meals and sauces with salt in them? Are you trying to take some daily exercise? Do you smoke? And are you trying to keep a healthy weight for your size? All these things can have an impact on what your blood pressure is. There is only one way to know your blood pressure numbers, and that's to have it measured. And it could save your life. It's very quick, simple and painless, and usually free. You can do it at the GPs, with your practice nurse or a pharmacist, or with a simple bit of kit, you can do it at home. And what's more, people often find it's very empowering because you can take your blood pressure when you like, when you're relaxed at home, and it puts you in control. Firstly, measure your blood pressure at a time that's convenient for you. If it's in the morning, then do it before eating or taking any medication. Don't smoke, have caffeinated drinks, or exercise for 30 minutes before measuring your blood pressure. Sit quietly for a few minutes, get yourself in a comfortable position with your legs and ankles uncrossed. Try to be calm, still and quiet. Make sure your arm is positioned properly. Rest your arm, raised to 